represents the month of Cancer. This month has a lot of the energy of Gemini still remaining in it. Therefore, globally and cosmically, it should be fairly calm. But there are three aspects of our life that we have to take quite seriously. One is our money. We can't do any kind of arrangements or business or any of that without sound advice that's concrete because this is the time when things can sort of slip away. Emotions, and you know that cancer is one of the most emotional, the water of water, the most emotional of all signs. And therefore we need to be very careful of our emotions, how we treat people, how people treat us, and sort of back away, learn how to deep breathe when we have a problem. Because it is very, very possible that we can not be able to undo the harm that we could possibly do if we let ourselves run havoc. And the third category, typical for cancer, is relationships. There's nothing more important to a cancer than his home and his children and his family. And unfortunately for most people, that which we seek the most is the things that oftentimes comes less. We know about, for instance, King Henry VIII. All he wanted was a wonderful marriage and an heir. And he had six wives and didn't get to any of them. So from this we learn that to get the thing we most seek, we need to seek other things, perhaps to volunteer our time into something, perhaps to share. There's a lot of Neptune involved in this month. And therefore, we should dream big, which means that we shouldn't apply what we think we can do now because it's the wrong time. It's seed level. And also, it's a seed level for many things in this world not to manifest, but there are countries and nations of this world that are trying to manifest some pretty negative things. So it's our time to do some introspect, to, to do some meditation, to try to help to nourish this world because we may find ourselves in very difficult waters in the months to come. So now I'd like to do a meditation for that purpose. If you will, put your feet flat on the floor, your hands at your side, lift your eyes above the field of vision and close them. Take a few deep breaths. And let the muscles of your face relax. Your head and your neck and your shoulders relax. Down your spine. Your thighs and down your legs relax. To the bottom of your feet. Your arms lie limp at your side, and you are at peace. And for a few moments in time, I'd like you to avoid thoughts and wandering of your mind, and just to stay with me so we can go together on a small trip. I'd like you to. Visualize yourself walking in a meadow. And as you walk, the fresh grass is under your feet. The sun is shining. And there's a cool wind that's blowing so perfectly. And as you walk through this meadow, you're so thankful that you have eyes to see and ears to hear that you are alive at this time. This is a wonderful time in the churning of our universe. There's so much change, so much positivity out there. We know that even the moon, which has no light of its own, but the sun never sees the dark side of the moon. It only sees the light. And so too, in all the places that we lack in our lives, we should look to see the bright side of the moon.
And now for a moment in time, you lie down on the fresh grass and smell the smell of fresh grown grass and feel this energy that gives you that feeling of just being you at one minute with all that's around you. The month of Cancer is that of emotion, that of care, that of wanting to be a part, wanting to be in touch with all around us, and yet sometimes we feel very much alone and inside ourselves. Allow for this moment the letter Chet, which controls the month of Cancer. And let it be, if you cannot imagine or visualize the letter, then just visualize a light, a beautiful blue light. And take that energy and put it through the central part of your chest to the heart and feel the warmth of the blue light enter you as the letter expands inside your being. As that energy takes control of you and says, I am perfect with all my flaws, with all my negativity. I am perfect for the job I have to do. I am perfect in trotting to become better. I am perfect. Now, the last letter of the Hebrew alphabet, the tough, the letter which controls the moon. As you know, the moon is not a planet, but it is very powerful in its influence over our cosmic level in this earth that we live in. It is the control over the month of cancer. And as such, like tides go in and out, and sometimes there's waves and current, so too the emotional level of the cancer needs to be controlled. Sometimes there's very, very, very low tide, and sometimes high waves. Let's learn to surf the high waves and to swim in low tide. Take the letter tough and take it through the top of our head. Bring it through our entire being into the arms and to the legs. Whatever color you choose is fine. Take it to the bottom of your feet and let it vibrate through your entire being. Vibrate. And then take it out of yourself and in a co cocoon fashion, draw a circle around your being. It is a circle of protection. Feel the light and the warmth of the circle as it embraces you through the last letter of the alphabet. For the last and the first are not very different. The first is usually where all our dreams are. As when we imagine a house, we see it built in exactly what we choose to see. And the final result is what happens from our dreams. The tough is the final manifestation. As this month will be a month for manifesting, for dreaming, for bringing a plan of the month ahead into fruition. 
And now take this great energy and bless it and send it heavenward. And as you lie on the grass, hear the sounds of the birds as they chirp, saying thank you for the Creator, for the allowance of their lives. Feel that the earth is rich and full of life. Allow yourself for one moment to feel the earth around you and being thankful that you are still allowed to be on it. And just sit up and f enjoy the feelings, the adventure that awaits us in this month. Be careful. Knock on each other's door lightly because to force your entrance is an unpardonable negative. It is poor etiquette. Let's be gentle with each other's hearts for to seek friendship and love needs to have an other seeker and no pressure of force. As the Creator doesn't force, also it is incumbent on us the same. Now, just for a moment in time, I will count from one to five, and at five, to come back to the here and now Calm and quiet and at one with yourself. One, two, three, four, and five. Kurdish Dove.